Hello, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it is August 16th of 2017. It's uh, about 2.30 p.m. I just put uh, frozen lasagna into the oven, so in about a year, a year, oh God, oh, not a year, in about an hour, we will be having a lasagna. And I just decided to make a very short video. If you notice any difference in the sound, I switched to this microphone that I'm using and I have it right here at arm's length uh, on a microphone stand and we'll see how it does. I've tested it, I've switched, I've even used two and we'll see. I was using the uh, Blue Yeti uh, microphone, so I'm using Using this one, we'll see how it does. Um, wanted to, well, I don't know, I just want to make a little short little video here. Let me switch camera views. I swear, I have an odd shaped head. Uh, also, I have hooked up, I think I might have mentioned this in my last video. I have, this is one of the LG long monitors, they call them wide monitors. And I use it because I can have two, in this case I have, and I'm recording this full screen. I have the camera, and then I have the browser over here, and, I, they're, and what's really great is when I'm doing editing, I can switch back and forth and drag. I also have now, you see the edge of it here, my, uh, I need to, well, somehow, have the, whip that to fall off, this thing, I need, I'm going to get a fluid head, uh, tripod, I swear, that may be the next thing on my list, I have my 27 inch, um, Asus monitor and so I have a lot of screen space and I have a, I have enough room here on the uh, on the desk so I'll put a link to this by the way in case you like the sound of it I'll put a link underneath here for it and it's um, where the heck's the price oh here it is $97 right now for it now you will need um, comes with the cable, comes with the, that, I have it on a mic stand, you'd have to buy that if you, you know, um, and then there's this, you'll need a, a box, a, uh, and I've done reviews on all of these, this is the Focusrite, Foc, F-O-C-U-S-R-I-T-E, and I have several different kinds of these. This is a very simple, you know, very simple one. So we'll see how it's uh, working out. You can't see the light flashing, but I'm not overdriving it as long as I haven't got a green light flashing. So I'll put a link to that too, because I use it, I like it. But I'll put a link to that underneath here. Um, this, uh, I've never seen this discussed before or anything, but I've, I've mentioned on several, I think, of my videos that I always called uh, my father and mother uh, Jim and Betty, always. And uh, I think I mentioned it, did anybody else do that or what? I didn't get any replies or whatever. I see here's a video, I'll put a link to this in case you, because I'm not going to, you know, it's a six minute video, I'm not going to play their video but for you, uh, but I'll put a link to it in case you're interested. Why do we call parents mom and dad instead of their names? And I watched uh, about two minutes of it, I think, I'll watch the whole thing here later, but uh, that's something that's, that's interests me. Now I did, um, I think I mentioned that, and uh, that 
my mother's mother, my grandmother, uh, lived with us for a while. And uh, from the time when I was maybe uh, six years old, or maybe seven, or something like that, in there, and I called her mom because my because Betty called her mom, so I called her mom. Uh, but anyway, it's something. It's a little thing that has interested me. But, the World Wide Web is really uh, interesting and, and to, you know, Wikipedia and things like that it, to find, to be able to find stuff out. How do we get by before? I remember as a little kid, and I, I would have been younger than five because it was in California during World War II. And uh, things were rationed not as much as in like uh, England or whatever, but uh, and uh, and I think that maybe it came along before that. I did look up the history. I can't forgotten now of margarine, but anyway, I remember being in remembered being in California when I was little, and taking a thing that that, that the butter, which was margarine, was white and kind of yucky looking. And I remember with the, a packet came in uh, some dye or something or other, and I remember sticking it and making that look yellow like butter or golden or whatever. But I remembered that, and uh, I've checked, and I, I think I asked some questions over the years, and I checked, and then a, a few years ago I finally, and I, I looked on the internet too, and could finally I found because I thought, and I mentioned it to people, and they looked at me like, "What you're, like I was crazy." And I knew that it was. Uh, I mean, I don't think four-year-old kids have dreams about something like that. And uh, so then I finally found, yeah, the dairy industry in the United States, uh, when margarine came along went crazy and had laws passed and all kinds of stuff that uh, margarine could not look like butter. They couldn't dye it or color it or whatever, you know. And uh, so I guess the company must have, uh, some companies must have, could sell you a little pack or whatever so you could dye it yourself. And so I remembered that and then I finally found the history and looked it up and uh, stuff. So. World Wide Web is really, really neat, and I'm sure we all all agree. Oh, since I'm looking at YouTube here, something for the first time in my life. Well, for the first time, I I think YouTube started in what uh, 2005, and that's when I started with them. I have never reported a site before. Uh, just never reported. I, that's not something that I've known even uh, before the World Wide Web and stuff. I was always uh, live and let live and let everybody have their say and uh, all that type of stuff. But for the first time today, I reported a site. Uh, I'm not going to mention the name because I don't want to drive any traffic to, you know, I don't want somebody to go on there and. Uh, reporting them because I reported them. I don't want somebody to go there and uh, give them thumbs up to, to undo, that wouldn't undo a, their, you know, but, but still, I just, I'm not even going to mention who it was. But I thought their content was totally inappropriate, so inappropriate for the first time uh, I reported a site, so I did that today. I'm not sure I'll even check back to see if there's any repercussions. I'm not sure whether YouTube will tell them to remove that video or whether they will totally take them off. I'm not sure what's going to happen. Just thought I'd mention it. Um, I'm going to try to skip pro politics, but uh, you know, Donald Trump appointed a, or set up a couple of councils of business people because Donald Trump is a businessman and he's going to create jobs and and the CEOs of these companies are going to help him or whatever. And uh, some of the CEOs 
and it, it names we all recognize and corporations we recognize and we use their products or whatever. Several of those have been bailing off of, you know, bailing out of his uh, council, wanting nothing to do with the council and nothing to do with uh, President Trump. And because of the uh, statements that President Trump made, I guess, was it yesterday? Uh, a whole bunch more started bailing out. And so President Trump has done away with those two councils. The, the ones who didn't bail, like, I'm sure there was some thinking, uh, should I, you know, should I stick with this council or should I bail out? I mean, they kind of get, you know, these others that bailed out today before Trump. So they're sort of, they took a stand. And these ones that decided to stick for a while, uh, now they kind of, because Trump has canceled, they kind of make, they didn't get a chance to uh, take a stand, you know. So, it says here, Blackstone and J.P. Morgan, CEOs, were under pressure to resign. Let's see, former President Bush, former President Bush, denounced racial bigotry. In a rare move, the top military brass has condemned racism. So, you know, I, how old am I? God, am I 77? Born in 41. Somebody want to do the math? Never mind, it doesn't matter. Um, I, the, between the fifth and sixth grade, I spent a, that would be what, 1954 or something like that, I might be off, spent the summer in Barnwell, Barnwell, South Carolina, and uh, that was before the Civil Rights movement of the 60s or whatever. Saw a lot of crosses burned. Man, they, every hill had a cross that had been burned on it. I got a feeling those weren't all clan things. I got, you know, I guess over those years they could have that many clan meetings where they burn a cross. I got a feeling though that maybe the kids there, there was so many of them, I got a feeling maybe the kids there are just, hey, let's go up to this hill and put these pieces of wood together and light it on fire, you know. So all the chain gangs, uh, and then of course there was the water fountains, colored and white, and then of course I could handle two choices. I did this whole thing routine before, I think. but anyway, maybe you didn't see the video. I could walk up and there's two water fountains, colored and white, okay, that can deal with that, I can make a decision, you know. My problem was walking up and there's four restrooms. Uh, wait a minute here. Okay, colored women. Okay. Okay, colored, you know, men. Okay, white women. Oh, that's mine, you know. By that time, I probably wet my pants. Um, I forget when would it would have been that I did I uh, went on a construction job uh, in Convent, Louisiana, an oil refinery. What, what, what let's see, what year, uh, I can't remember what year that would have been. I was wondering about if that was after the, because I was staying in a motel and they had a nice bar restaurant place and I sat at the bar and would have you know, a hamburger and a Coke or whatever. But uh, I heard all this, ex you know, music and people laughing and all that kind of stuff. And where is, what, what, what am I missing out, you know? What am I missing out on, what, you know? And so I'd get, every day, I mean, that's where I would have my, I'd have my dinner, you know, there and I'd have Coke. And, and then one day I was sitting 
a different spot there at the bar and there was a swinging door and the bartender would go through that door occasionally. And then finally I was sitting there and I could see what it was. The door would swing open and be a little bit before it closed. And all the black people were, you know, mainly guys probably since it was a bar. They were all over there. So this bartender was taking care of this counter, this space, and then on the other side was the bar where all the black black people were. Uh, so, what did I want to mention? I think that's it. I th well, sort of a this is sort of a test of the speed. That's the justification I'll use. That uh, this is a test of the MXL nine ninety condenser microphone. And uh, I want to thank you very much for watching. I, re I like this natural light coming in. I don't have any lights on in here. This is just strictly, and of course I'm using the Logitech uh, 930E. Well, both, of, and the other one is a Brio, well, we can find out here. I'll just switch to it. And on the bottom of the screen, I think you're going to see it too. It will tell you which camera it is. Logitech Brio, I guess. I'm going to switch back. Yep. I don't. I wonder if you see that. Well, I could find out because if, when I watch the video, I don't watch sometimes all my. I mean, I may, might watch the first thirty seconds to make sure the audio is working or something. I, I'm uh, not that big of a fan of myself. Uh, sometimes somebody will leave a comment or something, and uh, I do then maybe end up watching a. Uh, I'm, I mentioned this before. I'm going to try to start making some better videos, but when it gets cooler, and hopefully when I start feeling better, I'm just I'm so tired all the time. Today I got a new pain. It's flank pain or something rather. Um, I don't think I did anything to hurt myself. It's not like pain from, you know, a bladder or a kidney or something. It's like on the outside. I don't know. Just, I don't need any new pains. And, uh, uh, I did have to watch uh, or did watch a video that was made a year ago or maybe two years ago or three years ago or something. And I saw that place on top of my head, which turned out to be cancer. And uh, I thought, when I looked at that, looked at that video, I thought, how could I not go to the doctor with that, you know, sooner? Why did I wait a year or two to uh, go see the doctor? You know, that really, I don't, I, I think I can push on it. It doesn't hurt. It finally stopped scabbing over. It takes, took forever. And it, I don't know. I think I'll go see my doctor for my regular checkup once a year or every six months or whatever it is. I think I'll do that next month. I got several things to mention to him and to show him or whatever. I'm falling apart. Oh, well. Anyway, let me know what you think of the MXL 990. Thank you very much for watching. Um, hang on a second. If you use your QR reader or whatever, your cell phone, click on that. I take the uh, thing, it'll take you right to my blog, which no reason for you to go. I'm not even updating it much anymore. I used to update every day, sometimes a couple times a day for, well, since 1982. Now, <laughs> Facebook is, everybody goes to Facebook and Twitter. And I wonder what's on my Facebook page. Uh, let's see. YouTube, no. 
Facebook. Where are we? Here's Facebook. There's a post from me on Facebook. Uh, look what the Republican Party has done to the United States. Uh, Dick here says, one bizarre rant makes all our other 44 presidents look like statesmen. Even the other but lesser rogues, unqualified, unhinged, un-American. And my next post is, President Trump defends white supremacist. And this one is, have you no shame, President Trump? Some of you will remember that from the McCarthy hearings. I do. I was a kid then and watched them, watched on TV. Probably when I uh, was skipping school, I skipped a lot of high school. I don't think so much grade school. I skipped it. I was. I'm, I, I can't believe the Christian Brothers didn't. Uh, of course, I didn't mention. Or they wouldn't let you miss an awful. I mentioned. I actually thought there were uh, truant officers out, so I'd skip school and keep the shades closed and uh, be home till or till about 3 p.m. or whatever. And then I felt like it was safe to uh, open the shades or go out into the yard. So I don't think there were any truant officers. I guess. Probably if you'd gone downtown to the arcade or something and you were in there, maybe a police officer might come in and say, why aren't you in school? Thank you very much for, uh, for watching.